There are many things worth celebrating on Delmarva, and this weekend there's a celebration in Delaware of something that adds so much to our community and the families that live here, the trucking industry. But this celebration is twofold. Not only does it celebrate the dedicated men and women who commit themselves to this career, but it supports an organization that gives so much to so many people on Delmarva. Of course, we're talking about Delaware's Truck Convoy, and here to tell us more about it is the State Director of the Delaware Law Enforcement for Special Olympics, Greg Nolte. Greg, thank you so much thank for you. coming in this afternoon. Okay, so this is the 15th annual anniversary, 15th anniversary for the world's largest truck convoy. That's amazing. Yes, it is. When we first started 14 years ago, we had maybe 20 trucks at the most, and mm -hmm. now we're up to, last year we set a record with 229 trucks and $52,000 raised. It was one of the largest truck convoys in the country, and the events raised $485,000 since its inception oh my in goodness. Delaware. And for those of, who don't know what it is, can you help us explain a little bit? Yes, it's a police escorted convoy. Uh, it leaves the Delaware State Fairgrounds. The routes change somewhat, so we are going northwest of Harrington this time, and it returns to the Delaware State Fairgrounds. It's police escorted. We don't stop for red lights or stop signs, and we maintain a consistent speed. And uh, well, like I said, we finish at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. We need you on our way to work. Well, right. today, <laughs> <laughs> many people say that, so. <laughs> but uh, it's a huge event, and it's uh, the community really enjoys seeing all the truckers out there. Now, this event benefits uh, Special Olympics Delaware. How so? The money raised goes r directly back to the athletes, the programs, the training, their events, uh, summer games throughout, and it just gives them additional confidence that they don't have to be raising money for their training, and it goes to all's return to Special Olympics Delaware. Mm. Now, you've been involved with the Special Olympics for, what, 25 years? Yes, sir. What do you like most about it? The athletes and the joy that they bring. Uh, I've seen athletes grow and the confidence they gain. Many of our athletes are employed. They become community outreach speakers, and they go out and discuss the cause and what it means to them. Law enforcement is a guardian of the flame, the flame of hope, and they explain what the importance of that and what this opportunity gives them. Uh, the, the, just the confidence level yeah. in these athletes is tremendous. Yeah, and for those who are not familiar with Special Olympics, it's what does it do? It uh, trains them in athletic as people. We have 4,200 people with intellectual disabilities, and it trains them on how to get the confidence to run, swim, bowl, bocce ball, a host of events mm -hmm. throughout the year, and intermingle with other folks. And a big part of the trucking convoy is, or, or are, sorry, the Special uh, Olympics athletes. Yes, many of our truckers open up their cabs and allow the uh, athletes to ride with them, then a, a guardian, so they're in the truck for the 25, 29 miles of the truck convoy. Fantastic. Now you mentioned that you have a new route this year. Why is that? Uh, last year we grew so quickly and we were crossing Route 13 twice, Route 113 once, and we were getting to the point traffic along those routes was becoming more and more congested. So we looked at a route uh, that takes us out past Taylor and Messick, Whiteleysburg Road to Felton, then in through Felton and back south on 13. So it's an impact to make the convoy safe and we're trying to be good stewards and not tie up traffic along our roadways. Sure, sure. And a lot more people see you. That's correct. Um, that's the big thing we want to consider is that the fact that we have a convoy, we want exposure, mm -hmm. but we also want to lower the risk of anything happening along the route. So are you looking for more truckers or are you still looking to expand? Yeah, we're always looking for truckers. Cool. And that was the reason for expanding this route is because if we keep growing, it would be harder and harder each year to maintain that uh, safety. And you encourage people to come out and stand along the route and cheer? That's correct. We have three cheer centers set up at Taylor Messick on 14 west of Harrington, um, the Felton Firehouse, and the Lake Forest North Elementary School in Felton. And of course, we'd be going through Felton, the side roads that we use, that people come out of their homes and watch the convoy pass through. And the convoy is more than trucks, right? Yes, uh, we have any vehicle, gross weight vehicle of over 10,000 pounds is permitted to enter. So we have all sizes of trucks and not had any farm equipment yet, but uh, <laughs> maybe someday. That would be cool. <laughs> yes. So what happens when, okay, the trucks all do the route and they're done? What happens then? 
They come back and we have a festival set up. They mm -hmm. have lunch. We have uh, DJ playing. We have an athlete talk. We give out awards for the most money raised, truck that came the furthest, the best truck, the most fire companies, all sorts of awards that are given out at the end. That's neat. Fantastic. All right. Well, let's go over the event details. This is happening this Saturday, right? That's correct. Oh. And we have great sponsors in Walmart and FedEx and Purdue and, of course, WBOC and Fox 21 yeah. with the promotion of this event. It's, it's a big team effort. Yes, absolutely. Trucks depart at 10 a.m. from the Delaware Fairgrounds in Harrington. They're, and as you said, there's going to be three cheer sections. Yes. And you also said WBOC is a proud sponsor, and we are proud of sponsoring this event. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about this. Thank Good you luck with the event. Us, yes. And if you would like to read more about the 2017 Truck Convoy, including where those uh, cheer stations are going to be, go to our website, delmarvalife.com.